Now, as regards the others of the 14, as you know from your own experience on the divine love path, it's all about your personal desire to connect to God. That's what this path is really primarily about. You know, you know that. So, so, and your personal desire to be real emotionally. Now, obviously we all have varying desires at this point. And to be truthful, you will continue to have varying desires of how rapidly you wish to progress and process your emotion and learn new truths. And every single person that God has created has varying desires. So there are some people that have a stronger desire than others as a part of that. So, and that desire, by the way, is something that you can grow. You are totally responsible for this desire. And by the way, when I say you, I mean you and your soulmate together as one soul are responsible for the desire that's in your soul. So in other words, you have the ability to have just as much desire as any other person in the universe to progress on the divine love path. Now that being the case, there were certain people in the spirit world um, and who, who had the strongest desire. And those people who had the strongest desire were the first seven pairs of souls to enter the soul union state. And so myself and Mary was the, were the first pair to enter that state and then there was a series of, of, of enterings of that state and my, my daughter, uh, our daughter Sarah, um, and her soulmate Luke uh, was the, were the seventh pair to enter that state. Well, they, were, they entered that state at a very similar time as the sixth pair to enter the state. So you, you could probably say the sixth and seventh pairs to enter that state um, were, were people that we knew, obviously. Um, so. That being, the, that, that being the case though, there's been many people who I know who have entered that state after that point, but I, who I have not had as much personal contact with. You look at how it happens here, like many of you have noticed already that what I'm trying to do is to help the persons who have the strongest desire to progress spiritually. That's my personal goal. Now, many people who don't have a strong desire to progress spiritually have a strong desire to deal with their emotions, but only because they wish to negate the negative effects of not dealing with their emotions. Do you, do you follow me? It's a bit like, so it's a bit like, oh, I'm feeling really painful now. AJ, you've got to help me. Now, I feel quite resistive to helping a person in that state. The reason why is because I can feel that there is not a strong desire for them to be at one with God. There's not a strong desire for them to be truthful. There's not a strong desire for them to, to connect with all of these emotions within them except when they're in pain and then they have a desire and the, the desire really is only to avoid their pain and that's not a pure desire can you see that it's not like let's say you and i have a friendship only because um you want to avoid some pain does that sound like a good friendship to you well that's the kind of friendship many of us are trying to develop with god right we say we say oh i only want god because he's going to help me avoid some pain well the truth is that that's not a pure desire and so therefore we've already got an issue with our relationship with God. 